What's up? I'm Carl G. Richter. This is Monday Fun Day, the show designed to spark joy for the craft of instructional design. This week's joy is sponsored to you by what some people call asynchronous learning. I like to call it on-demand learning, and if I'm being totally honest, I like to think of it like a player piano. For this week's video, I'm going to leave my green screen and actually take you into my actual basement to explain the player piano metaphor. So a lot of the work that we do in e-learning is really just a version of us uh, being player pianos. Uh, e-learning developers and designers are able to replace a facilitator, much in the same way that a player piano can replace a, pian a pianist. The problem comes that they're not flexible. They can't play any the songs any differently. There's no customization available. If someone got engaged at my restaurant and all I had was a player piano and they asked for their favorite song, I could only play it if I had that. Whereas a pianist may be able to actually go through and do it. So uh, really the point that I'm trying to make is that uh, synchronous and asynchronous are both an important part of a blended solution. Uh, but do realize that there are inherent limits to what you can do with your asynchronous materials. Uh, much like this player piano, it is at its limits. It can do no better and customize no more than, than this roll of paper and the little holes that are punched into it. So with that, I hope that you have a very great week.